Hello everyone. In this video we will discuss the steps on how to create and prepare an ER diagram for shipping management system. Please don't forget to subscribe and to click the notification bell to receive a free updates. When it comes to shipping management systems, they are web-based applications that assist organizations in managing their shipping requirements. Businesses can use it to track products, make shipping labels, and get shipping prices. It is free to use. Businesses can also create shipping profiles, which contain information about the company's shipping preferences, through the system. This information can include the company's shipping carrier preferences, the sorts of products that the company sends, and the time frame for delivery of those products. Businesses can also manage their shipping orders with the help of the system. They have the ability to add products to an order, track the progress of the order, and print a shipment confirmation after the order is complete. It also provides firms with the ability to obtain information about their shipments. Shipping information, such as the package's weight, size, and shipping destination, can be viewed by the recipient. Businesses can also use the system to print shipping labels, which is a convenient feature. They have the ability to personalize the labels, include tracking information, and ship packages. It also enables businesses to request quotations from shipping firms through the system. This allows them to compare the rates of several shipping firms and select the one that best meets their requirements. The shipping management system is intended to accomplish a number of goals and deliver a number of advantages. The following are the objectives of the shipping management system. 1. Develop and implement strategies to optimize the shipping process so that the correct products are delivered to the correct places in the most efficient manner feasible. 2. Reduce the amount of money you spend on shipping. 3. Ensure that correct and timely information is transferred between different departments within an organization. 4. Increase the level of communication and cooperation among firm employees. 5. Increase the precision with which inventory data is recorded. 6. Automated order fulfillment processes should be supported. 7. Improve the automation of shipment tracking and tracing in order to ensure that packages are delivered on time and in compliance with client specifications. 8. Provide accurate and up-to-date information about items and shipping to improve the overall customer support experience. 9. Reduce the likelihood of shipping mishaps occurring. 10. The shipping process can be made more efficient, which will increase staff productivity. We will follow the three basic rules in creating the ER diagram. First is to identify all the entities. Second is to identify the relationship between entities and third is to add meaningful attributes to our entities. Step 1. Identify the entities. The entity will be our database table of shipping management system later on. In the shipping management system we have the following entities. Customer shipping, shipping details, delivery, personnel, payment. Following our model. The shipping management system consists of five components or entities, which are listed below. The components that make up these pieces will be the tables that make up our database tables, which we will design and develop as we design and construct the shipping management system database schema. To demonstrate how the entire system operates, we'll draw a rectangle with the components of the shipping management system included within it. In the following diagram, you can see the various entities and things that are a part of the shipping management system. Step 2. Establish relationships. This is usually in a form of primary key to foreign key connection. After we have specified our entities, it is time now to connect or establish a relationship among the entities. The customer can process one or more shipping transactions, one to many relationship. Shipping information may include one or more items or packages, one to many relationship. Delivery personnel can deliver or process multiple shipping information one-to-many relationship. These are the list of deliveries they need to accomplish for a certain and limited amount of time. The customer will pay the transaction fee based on the shipping cost and items or packages. Records or information of the customer will appear multiple times in the payment record of the project. One-to-many relationship. Shipping information or transactions may be paid in cash, credit or installment. 
which means that the shipping info may appear more than once in the payment history or record of the project, one-to-many relationship. Step 3, add attributes this will be the columns or fields of each table in the shipping management system. The last part of the ERD process is to add attributes to our entities. User entity has the following attributes, user underscore ID dash primary key represented with underline. Customer entity has the following attributes. Customer ID dash primary key represented with underline last name first name middle name contact email address address username password account status. Shipping entity has the following attributes. Shipping ID Primary key represented with underline reference number shipping date customer ID dash foreign key amount status delivery personnel ID dash foreign key proof of transaction. Shipping details entity has the following attributes. Details ID, primary key represented with underline shipping ID dash foreign key item name item details quantity amount. Delivery personnel entity has the following attributes. Delivery personnel ID, Primary key represented with underline last name first name middle name contact email address address username password account status. Payment. Payment ID. Primary key represented with underline reference number customer ID dash foreign key payment date amount payment type. A notable benefit of ERD is that it can aid in the enhancement of communication and understanding between stakeholders which can result in more efficient and effective system development overall. Improved system quality, decreased development time and costs, and a better grasp of system needs are some of the advantages of enterprise resource planning. It will be a guide for the developers while they work on the project's database. It would be great if you could share our information on how to construct an ER diagram for shipping management system with other people. In addition, We will also give you a PowerPoint or video presentation for the entire ER diagram. Make sure you visit and subscribe to our YouTube channel to see the videos. Thank you for watching. For more free capstone project ideas and resources, please subscribe and click the notification bell to receive free updates on our channel. You may also reach us on our Facebook page and website.